Hello, 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 everyone. What is going on? James here, and today I bring to you my Jake Paul versus Tyron Woodley predictions and analysis. So let's get into this then. Jake Paul's last fight, he was showing good jabs, good crosses, good counters, etc., etc. Oh, Ben Askren, and you know, he had a bit of a Philly show going. Uh, not fully, but like, you know, one hand up, one hand down. Sorry, so yeah, whatever you want to call that. Um, but yeah, you know, he, he countered Ben Askren a bit and obviously eventually dropped him. The fight really could have gone on longer when you think about it because the ref kept pulling Ben Askren's gloves and Ben Askren didn't know what was going on because he might have not been explained to properly that you need to show resistance when the ref pulls the gloves and obviously he didn't do that. So that fight obviously could have gone on a bit longer, but it didn't. In Ben Ask uh, in Jake's last few, I mean, obviously against Deji, that was a close fight against Gibb. Gibb just was not there in the slightest fundamentally Nate Robinson charged forward a few times and got countered obviously in between that uh, there was quite a lot of clinching going on overall Jake has improved over the years he's gotten better and better and better the Deji fight was probably his most competitive one even the Askren one wasn't really that competitive Askren landed a little bit here and there but he just came forward with his hands up didn't really do much to be honest but again worst striker in UFC in my opinion and in MMA in general, one of the best wrestlers ever, but definitely not one of the best strikers, for far from it. Um, to be honest, though, Woodley, he's actually a threat, in my opinion. All the people he has beaten. Now, obviously, he's finished quite a lot of good strikers. Condit, Koscheck, Lawler. Um, he didn't finish him, obviously, but he dropped Wonderboy a few times. Uh, finished till but that was with a submission the thing is against Lawler and against Koscheck, that was obviously a you know punching finish and when it comes to his punches obviously he needs his leg kicks doesn't he and the wrestling he didn't he didn't really use his wrestling an awful lot or his grappling really he has a little bit but his style mostly do this with his left hand whatever up down up down up down up down and then the big right hand or what he occasionally does, he did it to tell, pull back, then straight right, pull back, straight right counter. Can he do that to Jake Paul? Now, the thing is, I honestly think so. I think it's definitely going to be competitive, but Woodley, that right hand, I really, really think can land. Jake Paul, we haven't seen him under a lot of adversity yet, have we? Against Deji, Deji did a bit against him, but not a lot. I feel like Woodley is going to be way too much for Jake, in my opinion. He's coming up against someone who's actually won via striking. I know this is boxing. It isn't leg kicks as well. I get that. But he's got amazing hands and he's very powerful. So I think I'm not going to bore you and sit around for ages and talk for ages. I think Woodley gets this done. Third round, TKO probably. Uh, I know he's mostly, you know, right hand. Uh, sorry, you know, do this with his left. do not really throw much with it though. Uh, big right hand or pull back straight right. He does occasionally throw uppercuts and hooks. He does sometimes switch stances and try and blitz. Uh, against Vicente Luque, he did a massive blitz as well. And that sort of worked out okay for a short time, but then sort of flopped for him. He can't be doing that against Jake, even though I think he could if he wanted to, but it ain't really worth the risk. The thing is, Woodley wants this badly. He lost his um, last four. Lost to Kamara Usman, Colby Covington. Sorry, Kamara Usman, Gilbert Burns, Colby Covington and Vicente Luque. So I think he really wants this. While someone like Ben Askren was just sort of like, oh, well... Let's see if this guy's any good. Let's see if this guy's actually beatable. Let's see if, if he's actually a good boxer, then he's going to beat me. But if he's not a good boxer, then I'm going to beat him. Didn't really seem like he wanted it, if that makes sense. And obviously, Gibb, I mean, I'm sure he wanted it a bit and worked hard, but Jake was too big, too good. I, it's weird that, I don't know if Gibb just didn't listen to Vidal, but it seems weird that in some part he was squatting so much and he stood square, but I suppose he hadn't done a lot of boxing, so that's fair enough. Nate Robinson, I think he just wanted to beat up Jake Paul because Jake Paul's a tit. Deji, yeah, he, he wanted it quite a bit and worked hard, but just wasn't good enough, I guess. So there you go. I think he if he wanted it the most, he would have moved nearer to Vidal's gym. But point being, Woodley wants this more than ever. Woodley doesn't want to be looked at doesn't want to be made a fool of by a YouTuber. Well, Ben Askren can sort of handle it and the rest of the the rest of people, Jake's for aren't boxers. So, well, aren't professional proper boxers. I know Woodley's not a proper boxer, but he he's a former UFC champion. So, and he's got wins with his hands. 
So, like, you know, knocking people down with the right hand. So, at the end of that, I think Woodley gets this done, third round TKO. That's just what I think. So, yeah, that's all I've got to say, really. Have a good one and see you later.